Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Dave Peck, co-founder of Cloak. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Jeff. We're excited to be here. All right. Well, let's talk about the Cloak concept. What's it all about? Well, Cloak is a piece of software that keeps you safe when you're connected to public or untrusted wireless networks, like the kind you find at coffee shops, airports, hotels, or conferences. Anytime you're on one of those networks, it's possible that the people who run the network or the people who are using the network can see your data as it flies by. And Cloak is a very simple way to keep yourself safe when you're using that. Okay. Now, most people seem to think that if they're on an HTTPS connection that everything is fine and dandy. Is that actually the case or not? Well, so if you're on your bank's website, chances are pretty good that your bank uses HTTPS everywhere. Uh, in which case, yeah, you're absolutely safe. Uh, Cloak provides no benefits. The problem comes in for websites that either use HTTPS kind of intermittently or that don't use HTTPS at all, that just use HTTP. And there are a whole heck of a lot of sites like that. Sites that use HTTPS intermittently might let you use HTTPS to log in so your password goes over secure, but then they do something to cookie you with a session cookie. So a great example of a site that does that is Facebook. So how does Cloak keep them safe? Well, Cloak, uh, if you know what a VPN is, Cloak is one of those. And the good news is you don't need to know what a VPN is to actually uh, use Cloak. But under the hood, Cloak is a VPN, so it basically encrypts your data as it leaves the network so that prying eyes on the network aren't able to actually see it. Sends it off to our global network of servers, and that's where AWS comes in. Um, and we decrypt it there and send it on. So typically when people hear VPN, they, they think big, complicated, expensive, and corporate. That's Which exactly right. Apply? <laughs> <laughs> well, we like to think that none of them apply, actually. I mean, if you go to our website and sign up, you can be done in maybe a minute or two and secure your connection. You don't have to understand it. It's so easy my mother can use it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's talk a bit more about how you use AWS. Well, you know, we're a very small company. We're just starting to grow. And so when we looked at, we need a global network of servers because one of the big problems with VPNs is that you're sending your data through an intermediate hop. And so no matter where you are in the world, you want that hop to be kind of close to you. And so when we started looking at, well, how can we, one, scale out a global network of servers very rapidly and very cost effectively? So that's where AWS came in. We looked at that and said, well, you have five data centers and you're growing all the time. That looked like a really good place to start. Okay, so you actually have um, AMIs created in different AWS regions? Yes. In fact, I think right now we're using all of the AWS regions you have available. And if you bring another one online, uh, we're certain to use it okay. right away. Now, yeah. the user has to choose one, or you take care of that for them? No, it's completely transparent. Uh, when you connect with Cloak, we actually automatically uh, detect uh, which of the regions we're going to connect you to based on, we basically do a very simple ping racing latency detection. Um, and then we shuffle you over to the right one. So if you're on the East Coast, you'll probably end up at AWS's East Coast Data Center. If you're in Africa, you might go to Singapore right now or Japan. Depends. Yeah. Okay. So where do you see this going, let's say, over the next uh, six to 12 months? Well, right now, uh, we're out in the market. We're in what we call a public beta, which means that we've launched our software. We haven't quite hit our 1.0 yet. Um, we're growing. We're, uh, we have a growing customer base. And basically, we're just going to get out there and try and get more customers aware of this problem and aware that we're available. Sounds great. OK. Well, it's been really good to speak with you. I really appreciate you taking the time to, to come on by. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.